What's up, everybody, and welcome in to another edition of the sit down. As always, if you enjoy this video, please make sure you hit that like button and let me know what you think of today's very interesting discussion in the comment section below. If you're watching us currently live on YouTube, welcome in. Welcome to the party. Please say hello in the chat box to the right of the show. If you're new around here, you just haven't done it yet. Are you living on a rock and seeing this video for the first time? I don't know what you're waiting for. Hit that subscribe button below now so you never miss another sit-down video. Also, spring is here. The weather is turning. Make sure you check out our signature sit-down cigar available now from Pavada Cigar Club. The link to buy is in the description of this video. It is also in the chat box right now. Let me know what you think of the cigars. I'm sure you're going to like them. Also, a little bit of uh, news and notes. Check out our most recent episode on the very interesting Tino Fumara out now on the channel. One of the most underrated mobsters of all time is Tino Fumara, the man they call the Greek. Make sure you check that out right now. What up, everybody? You're probably wondering, what's going on today? Why am I doing a live today? Well, I usually do Thursday lives. However, I'm not going to be around tomorrow. So I originally, it's been a whirlwind day. I was originally going to do a live at two o'clock. Um, there was a, a shortage or some kind of issue on StreamYard, the uh, profile thing that I used to do the lives. And it was a, a, a something nationwide where no one could go live. But here we are. I figured nine o'clock would be a better time. Let's really jump into it. Let's have some fun tonight. We could talk about all sorts of things. If you have a comment or question, feel free to drop it. I know there's a lot going on. Uh, in this genre right now, as per usual, uh, let me um, let me say hello to some people. Uh, we've got a lot of people in here already, uh, almost 245 people. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Um, I don't know where I'm even going to start here. Where do I even start? There's a bunch of comments already in here. A lot of people talking to each other. Ruby, what's going on, Ruby? Shout out to you. Thank you for watching. Um, this is super random. Do you think John Calipari has any mafia connections? Um, Listen, random. Um, I saw this question earlier. Keep in mind, every Italian person is not connected to the mob. Uh, no. As far as I know, there are no connections John Calipari has to the mob. Um, but, uh, but yeah. Look, if anybody would like to support our channel further, please send in a super chat. We've got a lot of big things coming up here on the channel. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of changes to this channel. Uh, we are going to take this channel from doing really well to super well and everything we get from you we try to put back into this um i know there's a lot of people that enjoy what we're doing i appreciate all of you that like the show appreciate all you people that uh, share the show if anybody would like to support the show further hit that super chat icon in the bottom right of the chat box all right so i wanted to start the show tonight talking about the bizarre community that supports Sammy Gravano. This has got to be one of the weirdest communities on YouTube. Um, and I spent some time the other day watching one of uh, Sammy's lives. And I have to tell you, um, a really bizarre experience it was. Um, now, essentially, Joey Merlino came up. And a question was asked to Sammy, do you consider yourself a legend? Now, I want to get into some of the other weird things that go on in this community or that community of Gravano fans. Um, the first of which is someone asked him if he's a legend. And he goes into this long-winded discussion about he's not a legend and that, that again, though, maybe he kind of is. And is there any legends left? And he goes into naming like he called Mikey Scars, Howdy Doody. It was a shot at Mikey Scars. And then he starts talking about... I mean, look at that guy in Philly, Joey Molino. I mean, you know, give me a break. He ain't me, that's for sure. And I'm thinking to myself, like, first of all, what are you exactly? I, I, I'm super un, un, trying to understand how or what you are. And he always goes into these soliloquies about if John didn't betray me, if John didn't betray me, it's almost like he's forgotten that he's the betrayer. But he goes and he's talking about how you know, no one is on his level. No one's doing it like he's doing it. And I'm thinking to myself, what exactly are you doing? 
And then you have this bizarre community, you know, almost treating him like he's still a mob boss. Hey, Sammy, here's your envelope. Hey, Sammy, here's my kick up to the boss. And then a guy comes in and starts talking to him about asking Sammy for his mental health advice. This guy starts talking about how he lost someone recently and how does the guy go on in life? And he's asking Sammy for his opinion. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, he'd be the exact person I would look to for mental guidance. A guy who has killed how many people and ordered how many murders? I mean, how much mental health has he exuded to people over the years? Or as far as negative mental health. But I, I'm just thinking about this community, and I think they're one of the more weird communities we have. And I'm noticing that these people continue, continue, continue. Look, I get Merlino is the talk of the town right now. But there are certain people that probably shouldn't be talking about him, and that's people like Gravano. And we know Gravano's ego is bruised due to the fact that Joey won't go on his show, and he talked down about Sammy and all these other people. Listen, guys, I've talked about the whole rat thing. I think a lot of these people on here are fucking lames, the way they talk about rats, this, rat, that. It's super corny. We all know that. Um, but there's one person that I think probably is qualified to talk about it, and it's Merlino, right? Now, you hear a lot of people say, well, Joey should hate rats because he they put him away. Well, no, they didn't put him away. He put himself away. Um, let's not – let's remember that. But, but yeah, I mean, what a weird community that Gravano fan base is. I mean, we've seen some of them in here. I mean, Xavier James, the biggest Sammy fanboy of them all. I mean, we've seen him. He would literally get on his knees and blow Sammy if he could. And you got women in there. Sammy's, I saw one woman, she says, Sammy's the sexiest 79-year-old I've ever seen. And you got that producer behind the scenes, like, who doesn't know anything. And, and she's asking him about this and about that. And it's just, it's such a bizarre world. It really is. And all Sammy does at this point is lives. He doesn't do any videos. He has mailed it in as a content creator. He just comes on every week and just talks about God knows what. Another thing that I find interesting about him is he he's a big supporter of the police now all of a sudden, I've noticed, which is super funny due to the fact that he was in the mafia and the mafia hate the police, right? And he's now a big, I hate the police kind of guy. Um, it's just a bizarre community. It really is. But yeah, according to Sammy, Joey Molino isn't him. That's for sure. It's like, well, yeah, we know no one's like you, actually. There's a very there's a bunch of people that aren't you. Michael, what's going on? What's going on? What's up, Will? Will Cothe from Baltimore. Shout out to Baltimore. Bodymore Murderland. Michael Hensley, what's up? Mixed joint, what's happening? Thank you, Vax. I appreciate that. Uh, you got the software working. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. As a, as a, one of our favorite people would say, yes, I did. Um that's a great that's a great thing he says, by the way. Yes, I did. I love that. I love that. Um, Chris Thomas says, what are your thoughts on Joe Merlino and Jeff Canarsi? Um, OK, so look, obviously, people know there's no love lost between me and Jeff Canarsi. I'm not a fan of his. He knows that um, he's not a big fan of mine. Um, he has done a lot of shit to me over the years that I'm not a fan of. Um, I don't. I guess I can't say I understand it per se. Um, I don't really know what exactly he's up to and why he's doing it. Um, I'm not going to talk negatively about the guy. Um, he is, uh, you know, someone that hasn't done that in a while, at least to me. But again, we know there's no love lost between him and I. Um, he is a guy who, I guess we'll see what happens. But again, I don't know if there's anything that Joey can say that we don't already know about him. Uh, people have put a bunch of stuff out about him. You know, I will have to wait and see. I, I have no dog in the fight there. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't have any love for him. He knows that. Um, he's done a lot of fucked up shit to me over the years. Um, he's lied about a lot of shit about me over the years. Um, he's went out of his way to be a dick to me over the years. Um, as far as that's concerned, I don't really understand what he's doing. Um, you know, from what I understand, he's upset that Joey 
didn't acknowledge him or something. Um, I mean, I, look, there's a lot of people Joey doesn't acknowledge, dude. I mean, I, I guess I don't understand what the big – like, who cares? You know, Joey's never mentioned me. What do I care? I do my thing regardless, you know? I don't need anyone to mention me. You know, I'm still going to be here on Tuesdays and on Saturdays when I put a video out. I've never been dependent on anybody to mention me. I don't, you know, I don't care. Um, and I think by acknowledging it, I think it makes you look kind of weak, you know. But I have I, I have no duty to say anything nice about Jeff Canarsie. If To be frank with you, I think he's a complete fucking prick. He always has been to me. He has never went out of his way to be nice to me. Um, he has went out of his way to be a total douche to me over the years. So I have no... I have no duty to, to ever be nice to him ever. Um, I guess my whole thing is, um, I guess you get what you, you get what you give, man. Um, you're not gonna have me. I, I'm not a. I'm not a. I, I don't want to say too much, so I'll just not say anything else. Um, Scott Dunn, how you doing, bro? Thanks for watching. Uh, Leonard Petrunti, what's up, Leonard? How you doing? Uh, if anybody has any questions on anything, feel free to drop anything you want to know. I'm going to come on here and have some fun tonight. We're having a big party here. It is my three-year anniversary of doing the show. Let's have some fun tonight. What do you think? By the way, um, there's another creator who um, I don't know if I want to mention just because I don't know what he's up to. Um, so maybe I'll wait on that. Um Gene Barello has been in the news. Obviously, Gene, um, according to that guy shooting the dice, that guy's claiming that Gene was paid money uh, to do an interview and Gene didn't show up. I issued what Gene said out today. Um, look, here's the thing. I interviewed with that guy. He's a nice guy. He was very nice to me. I thought it was a good interviewer, to be honest, especially for a guy that did it for his first time. Um, Look, we obviously have had our run-ins with Gene. Uh, Gene is, you know, a guy who, you know, has done stuff that's very lowbrow. We've he's done stuff that's very funny. Um, if this is true, I don't really know who's in the wrong here. Um, my advice to Gene is, you know, you know, maybe she's give the money back. I don't know. I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not too up on it. Uh, what's up, Vinny? Serge says, do you really think Joey's going to expose Sammy for being a homosexual? No. And, and here's what I've learned, Serge. There is no proof of that. And I noticed Joey essentially just puts out stuff we already know. Like, there, we already know Jeff Canarsie at one point was friends with John A. Light. Everybody knows that. Um, we all know that there is rumors that Sammy Gravano at one point was possibly engaged in gay relationships. We all know that. and. I guess Joey just has an audience that maybe doesn't know that. But yeah, I already knew that. I think a lot of people know that. I've discussed that on this channel already. Um, you know, I, I don't know if there's anything that 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 he can, I mean, unless he finds something that maybe we don't have. But he, he gets all of his paperwork from the same person. And that person is getting the same paperwork to where I get paperwork. I have paperwork right here. It's not hard to get. What's up, Noah? Hey, Bella, what's up? Michael Cavanaugh, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. S2 Keith, what's up? How you doing, man? Hey, Carl, my main man. What's happening? What's up, Leo? What's up, John DeGrazia? Everybody in here, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Feel free to uh, drop any questions that you might have. Standing on business with Eric Foss. What's up, Eric Foss? What's going on, bro? But yeah, I mean, how weird is that Sammy community? Just a bizarre group of people. It's like, and all of them have this thought of John Gotti bad, Sammy Gravano good. Sammy was the, the, the patriot and all this. He did what he had to do. And it's like, He's one of the worst as far as like flipping things on what really happened. It's like, well, hey, I just didn't want to go to jail, so I just flipped on everybody. No, 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 no. I flipped, did what I did, 
I spoke on multiple trials. And then when like so that that would be another thing, Sammy. So if John betrayed you, why did you testify at Vincent Giganti's trial? Why did you testify to like I thought I thought it was John that betrayed you? You know, he played chess and I won, you know, like what was the so why'd you try why'd you cooperate on, you know, other people, Lorenzo Menino or John Gambino? Like I thought it was just John that betrayed you. Now, that's why that argument holds no weight. It's like, well, what about all the other people you cooperated against? Uh, Mark Doucette, shout to Nova Scotia, Canada in the house. I love it. Uh, Rich says, who do you think an Italian guy looks towards in the state prison system when his people's number are low? Uh, I don't think he looks for anybody. Um, I'm sure he finds people that he knows from the neighborhood and Sticks with them. I, I wouldn't know. I, I'm, I've never been to state prison, so I, I can't answer that. Um, but I would say that he's a man just like everybody else. Um, Mike7890. What's up, Mike? Desi Duarte says, my wife, kids, and I are watching The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. I have to catch up tomorrow with the show. I always love it. Thank you, Desi. Uh, John Wayne, one of the great actors of all time. My dad was a huge John Wayne fan. Um, I, he, he, he loved that movie. Uh, John Wayne is a legend, man. I was a big John. I still am. I love John Wayne. I, uh, True Grit's one of my favorite movies of all time. A uh, big Jake, great movie. Uh, the Cowboys. I mean, John Wayne, Brewster Cogburn, you know, a great, great actor. Um, uh, a lot of people don't know that he actually had a horse farm, not far from where I live. Uh, John Wayne is a uh, absolute legend. Tim M says, I had an Uber driver recently who was a big Sammy fan. It was so strange how he was talking about him. Oh, you have to let us know what he said. I would love to hear that. Uh, yeah, Sammy is a therapist. Yeah, bizarre. It's super bizarre. And then also, I got to talk about this. So there was a another guy that came in the thing the other day. You know, I think it was two weeks ago on the show. And was like, hey, Sammy, um, do you think you'll go to heaven? And he's like, yeah, you know, when I get there and he's talking about when he found out John Gotti died and like, you know, he did the whole again, uh, John betrayed me and I was sad and I love John, but, and he's talking about heaven and I'm thinking to myself like, dude, you're not going to heaven. Like, I'm, I think Mikey Scars might've commented on that too. It's like, dude, like you're not going to heaven. Like, I hate to tell you. And who am I to judge on whether people are going to heaven or not? But like, I feel like he probably wouldn't be a good candidate to go there. Jackie Rafter, he says, the boys from Boston say hello. What's up, Jackie? Shout out to the boys in Boston. Leo Carrion, $10. Thank you, Leon. Always love the content. Thank you, Leon. Uh, one of our first uh, individuals to donate tonight. Um, I also want to shout out, I see him in the chat. Um, from what I understand, John Travellino passed away. Um, I believe that's Pat Travellino's brother. Pat's a great commenter here in our chats. I know him and John were, were people that were from the neighborhoods that we talk about. And I, from what I understand, John passed away recently. I want to send my sincere condolences to you, John, uh, your family, uh, and Pat, obviously, to you. Um, really horrible. I'm sorry to hear about your loss, Pat. Uh, I wish you all the best. And uh, if you need anything, you know where to find me. Um, all right. Brad Green says, love the show since day one. Shout out to you, Brad Green in Australia. Love it. Nobody takes accountability in that life. Well, no, I, I, I wouldn't say that. There's a lot of people that take accountability. Oh, there's Pat Travellino. Hey, Pat, I hope all is well, man. I'm really sorry to hear about your loss. I saw, um, I think it was Mikey Scars posted about it on their Patreon. My, my, my condolences. Joey's dad died in the can. That's why he can't respect it regardless. Uh, right. And listen, he is a guy who's from the streets. He is in the streets as early as recently. Okay. We obviously understand why he doesn't like informants. That said, people like fucking stacks who are fucking goofs. And they interviewed rats like two weeks ago. Stop talking about rats. You look like a fucking retard, dude. Seriously. Shut up. 
What a goof he is. He is the biggest goof in this genre. I will always say that Stax is the biggest goof in this genre. Hey, Stax, remember when I got you to delete that ridiculous interview you put out with that goof Castellini or whatever? Remember that? Man, I really fed you your lunch that day, didn't I? That guy, talk about a complete goof. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Mobbing Tattoo says, Joey is a great guy. I met him in 2012. He's been nothing but friendly and down to earth. I've heard that. I've heard that. The lingo they use is so cringy. Oh, you mean the Sammy crew? Oh, yeah. Hey, kicking up to the boss. It's like, holy shit, dude. What is going on here? Oh, my God. Look who it is. The greatest YouTube channel on YouTube is here. Disturb Reality. Let me tell you something. Disturb Reality did you know, Disturbed Reality, I got to be honest. I was thinking about playing your video. It was so good. Disturbed Reality did a video recently on Don Alejo. Let me tell you about Don Alejo, guys. We have over 620 people in here, and I have to talk to you about Don Alejo. Don Alejo was a rancher from Tamaulipas, Mexico. He had saved his whole life to buy this ranch. He had all sorts of animals and livestock and, 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 and timber and all this stuff. And a drug cartel approached him and said, we're taking your land. He said, well, make sure when you're here tomorrow, you know, you come prepared. He was like a 78-year-old farmer. He fought him off. He's a hero. Disturbed Reality did a video about him. I've done a TikTok on him. Very interesting guy. If you are not subscribed to Disturbed Reality, I need all of you to do right now me a favor. Go subscribe. He is the best channel in on, on YouTube. The best. My favorite. I love his content. I hope we can talk to you again soon, Mr. Biotti. I hope all is well. It's late for you, isn't it? You're up late, my friend. Vincent Guzzo. What's up, Vincent? Shout out to you. If Sammy never flipped, he would have been insanely legendary if he just took his time and kept his mouth shut like Sonny Franzese did. Uh, right, right. But that's the thing, Sammy. You can't be a legend anymore. Now, maybe you're a legend to a certain segment of people that are just super deluded in life. Like, they just, you know. And listen, nowhere will I ever say that Sammy wasn't interested. Like, when he first came on YouTube, like, when I interviewed him, that was super interesting. When he's just talking, he was a nice guy. But some of this recent behavior, really weird, really bizarre. And then he tried to throw me under the bus, saying that I did this and did that. It's fucking bullshit. It's a complete lie. So I have nothing good to say about him at this point. Vincent Guzzo says, long live LCN. Well, I uh, disagree with you, uh, Vincent. Um, don't make us sick tonight, will you? Listen, Vincent, no offense, but none of these people are heroes. None of them. They're all depraved, awful people who would extort the last dollar from you, your father, your mother, and sister. They're not good people. We need to stop acting like they are. No, we don't ever want LCN to long live. They are people that we discuss. We talk about their history, uh, but we do not worship them. That's for sure. Sammy looks like Freddy Krueger. Uh, I wouldn't. I don't know about that. He's just old. Kayvon Henson. What's up, Kayvon? Shout out to you. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. Mike D says, sexy 79-year-old. Ew. Uh, well, listen, I guess there's a woman out there that's near his age that finds him to be attractive. Um, Michael Kinness. What's up, Michael? Shout out to you. Ski Bob says, Tana from Philadelphia checking. What up, Tana? What's happening to you, bro? What are my top five picks for the Masters? Uh, who did I bet? Um, I'm trying to remember who I bet. Uh, I'll tell you in one second, actually. Hold on. Uh, let me go into my sports book and I'll tell you who I bet. I took, um, fuck, I forget. Uh, was Zala Torres, Victor Hovland, um, Kepka and Sahith Tigala. Those are the five I, or four I took. I'm glad someone's talking about the weekly kick up commenters on Gravano's live. Yeah, it's so odd. So odd. I don't get it. Like, I'll never understand it. Uh, Brian. Brian Raimundo. Glad you agree. Carl Stepinski says, I stopped following him when he talk, started talking about politics and who he thinks is the best person around the country. Yeah, again, a lot of those guys are doing that now. Um, I um, I don't get it. 
You know, they're all big uh, Republicans now. They love uh, they love Trump, which is fine. I mean, you're you're free to like who you want, but um, uh, what's up, Paxton? Oh yeah, yo Jeff, did you ever actually kiss the? Oh, that's another thing he says. Good point, Jay. He tells people they have to kiss his ring. It's like, dude, you're not. I still remember. This is a great story. A great reason to bring this up. I still remember when I interviewed Gravano. I was at Barstool headquarters. It was a Friday afternoon, and I had to catch the train home. So I was trying to like, I had to get to the train station. Penn Station is like a few blocks from Barstool's offices. And we're doing the interview and I get a text from one of his producers and they say to me, hey, can you refer to Sammy as the Don of social media? And I'm just thinking, like, come on, man, like, just let this like mob stuff go. Like, you're not still in the mob, dude. Sanroy Charles says, what do you think about Dominic Black Dom Dionisio, an African-American inducted into the mafia? Do you think he'll one day be the boss? Uh, listen, I've heard multiple people say that, like, I've heard people say that he is partly African-American, um, I think 25%. And then I've also heard people say he's not. Um, do I think he'll be a boss? No, I don't think he'll be a boss. But he's been around, he's been around a long time. I mean, he goes back to the 80s. Very uh, lethal individual. Definitely a tough guy for sure. Um, would I ever do anything on motorcycle clubs? Uh, no, no, I'm not really. I mean, I talked a little bit about them during the Greg Woolley stuff. Um, but no, I don't, I don't talk about motorcycle clubs. Um, and one of the reasons is I have one that it's very close to me, a big one too. I see them all the time. Um, I don't, I don't have any interest in talking about those sorts of individuals. Um, Andrew Den, though I do find them interesting. I just wouldn't talk about them because I don't want to discuss that. Andrew Den, congrats on three years. Thank you, Andrew. Appreciate you guys. 663 people in here. Thank you for watching. If you have comments or questions, feel free to drop them in the chat. I will get to them. Uh, if you'd like to support our show further, please hit that super chat icon in the bottom right, the little dollar sign. We really appreciate it. Joe L, why ever do an uh, episode on the IRA? Uh, no, it's too big. It's too big. And it's, again, it's more political, and I don't really want to get into that. Hey, Doreen, thank you. Thank you so much, MG. Yes, it's our anniversary. It's our uh, three years ago I started this show on iTunes. Um, it was a podcast at the beginning. Now it's a YouTube channel. Now it's a TikTok. Anybody as well that I want to mention, if you want to follow us on TikTok, let me let me show you. You can follow us right now. This is our TikTok. Um, please uh, go subscribe to us, the Sit Down Crime Pod. Uh, we're up over 172K. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Uh, so go support us now on TikTok. Um, all right. Uh, James says, is anything from Goodfellas real? Uh, yeah, there's all sorts of stuff from Goodfellas that's real. Uh, I'm not really sure. What what exactly particularly are you asking about? Jake says, I don't know what it is. There's something about Gene I don't like. Um, yeah, I think you either like or hate Gene. I don't think there's like, hey, I kind of like Gene or I kind of don't like Gene. You either like him or you don't. Uh, I wonder how many guys do gay things in the can. Um, well, listen, that's none of our business. Um, I, I think you have to remember, Joey, that the prison system is way different than the life here. OK, and people in prison have way different codes in the way they do things. Um, I think it's an outside society that I'm not familiar with. Well, actually, I am familiar with, but I don't want to kind of put myself into it because I don't judge anyone in prison. They have to do things where they are and that's their business. Just like in prison, race is very important. Right. You hang with your people. Right. If you're white, you hang with whites. You know, if you're black, you hang with blacks. If you're Italian, you hang with Italians. Race doesn't mean much or if anything, in our world, you know, in prison, you know, stamps mean a whole lot out here. They don't, you know, it's a different way of life. Um, and as far as people that do gay things, none of my business, that's what they want to do. That's what they want to do. Um, you know, it, what is it? Any of my business? What did he think Joey was going to do? Hang with him. You better have money to give Joey. That's all he cares about. I'm not sure what you mean, Kenneth. What, what it, what's brought that on? Uh, Josh Zelinsky, what's up, Josh? How you doing? Uh, Nagone, what's going on, bro? Corey, Dave, Matthew. Hey, Richie, thank you so much. 
Aaron and Vicky are here. Shout out to Aaron and Vicky. What's up, Aaron and Vicky? Oh, Brian D hit me hard there. Oh, my God. How am I going to sleep tonight? Brian D thought this was – what does it even mean, Brian? It's not even funny. Hey, Brian. Hey, listen, Brian. Come say it to my face. Here's the link. Finally, 31 minutes in, we have a fucking chat clown. Here we go. It's Brian D. Brian, join the show. Let's let's see what you have to say. You you, don't, you want to talk tough. Uh, you really hit us hard there. Oh, my God. Neftali Vasquez. What's up, Neftali? You know, the thing is, Brian, you know what's amazing? We have almost 700 people in here, and you're the only fucking loser talking shit. But, hey, thanks for watching. You don't want to go with me on here. I'm telling you. I'm, trust me. I'll put you in a verbal body bag, as they say. Um, listen, all fans of people are insufferable. Not everyone is, though. Uh, Vincent Napolitano. What's up, Vincent? Shout out to you. Yeah, it's weird. I, it, that's another great point. Sammy's now the standard for values. It's like, no offense, dude, but like you'd be the last person we look to for traditional values or mental health help. It's like, yeah, Sammy, if we want to go to a psychiatrist, we will. We don't need you. By the way, what that what does that tell us about the guy asking that? Listen, to the guy that asked that, please, my friend, get some help from someone that's not a convicted murderer. Please. He's the last person you should be asking for advice. He would steal every piece of every anything you have if he could. Jeff Brezza says, if you had to work for an underboss for any of the bosses, who would it be and why? If I would have to work as an underboss for any of the bosses, who would it be and why? Um, yeah, another one of these hypothetical questions I don't really want to answer. Um, if I could work for any boss, who would it be? Uh, hmm. You'll probably Chin, just because you know Chin's kind of out of the way and I can kind of call the shots, I guess. I, I don't know. I've never really thought about that. Um, but, you know, I don't want to think too much about that because I don't really – Want to do that. Uh, Josh Alinsky, love the show, and Tina Fumara. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much. Fintech Data System says, Sammy wanted out. He broke and spilled the beans. Uh, right. But let's not act like he was betrayed, you know. Will we ever hear anything from the Gemini Twins? You know, I was going to bring this up. There's a guy. And it could be a total farce, right? But I just thought it was interesting. There's a guy I saw on Reddit that claims, and it could just be a total, like, you know, some guy making a story up. So remember, it was on Reddit. There was a guy who claims that he had to get his HVAC fixed last week. And a guy that very much resembled Joey Testa, or no, uh, Anthony Center, who was called Tony, fixed his HVAC. And he believes that Anthony Center is an HVAC tech as his job now. Because you have to get a job when you're in a halfway house. I just thought it was funny. Now, obviously, I don't I don't necessarily believe it. But I guess there's a small tinge. It could be. I could, it was a hilarious post. The guy's like, yeah, it was guy Tony came to my house. And uh, it really looked like Anthony Center. You do have to have a job in a halfway house. Uh, what's up, Dave? J.J. Lambon says, Jeff, you missed a point. Sammy would also allow Xavier to blow him if Xavier paid. Oh, that's true. That's true. He would have to pay. Good point. Uh, great movie. Yes, it is. Thank you, Aaron and Vicky. That's very nice of you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Liberty. Why is everyone having issues? You're not the only YouTuber. I don't know. Last several videos I've done have not gotten monetized. Uh, and that's why, guys, occasionally I'll I ask for Super Chats because I – have to have my videos monetized, right? It's how I make money, um, and it sucks. I don't know why. I don't say anything out of control that you shouldn't monetize it for. Um, it is what it is. Uh, first of all, Shane, Whitey Bulger would never be anything. Whitey Bulger is a complete piece of dog shit. I would – he could be your favorite. First of all, I don't have any favorite gangsters, dude. I don't look up to these people, especially him. Whitey Bulger is a piece of shit at the lowest level. One of the worst people to ever exist. 
Larry Mormon, $10. Thank you, Lawrence. Appreciate you. Um, thank you so much, man. You're always support supportive of us here. Corey Smith says, how many people did Sammy betray? Lots. Yeah, right. But he was betrayed by John, so it's all worth it. It's like, yeah, dude, did you forget? He had testified at Chin's trial and all these other trials. Thank you, Sean. What's up, Chris? Chris Grandinetti. Shout out to Chris. I'm, I'm glad you're well, Pat. I'm really sorry again to hear about that. David Spasato. What's up, David Spasato? I keep thinking of Super Sot. By the way, I got to tell you guys something. Jersey mics. People are telling me, you got to try Jersey mics. You got to try Jersey mics. And I'm thinking, I don't like fast food or these like, um, I, I don't like Subway. I don't eat there. It's not my thing. So someone says to me, you got to try Jersey mics. So I tried Jersey Mike's. It was awesome. Like Jersey Mike's is good. Like I was blown away with how good it was. You know, I'm familiar with like an Italian deli. We got a lot of good ones around here. Jersey Mike's was awesome. And also I ordered it. They ordered, they gave me an extra sub. Not sure why that they did. If you like Jersey Mike's, let me know. What's your go-to order at Jersey Mike's? I got to tell you, I didn't think it would be good, but it was really good. I got the club sub. It was fire. Ham, cheese, turkey, chipotle. It was fire. Like, super good. Thank you, Leo. Says, any thoughts on Diddy's allegations? Congrats on three years. Um... You know, again, I haven't read that far into the indict or the affidavit and all that stuff. Um, it's definitely a really sad fall from grace. I mean, Diddy at one point was one of the highest in, in, in high as far as um, music's concerned. Um, I don't have much to say on it, though. Um, my guess is, though, he's going to do a very long time in prison. I don't know why he's still in this country, to be honest. Thank you so much, Leo, for the support. Matthew Wells, $20 super sticker. Thank you. Thank you so much, Matthew Wells. Appreciate your support. What's up, Eric? We're all fine, Jeff. We have a strong family and support each other. Well, good. That's important. That's important. Guys, I want to play a game. Let's do some Sopranos trivia. If you can if you can stump me on Sopranos trivia, um, I don't know. We'll do something nice for you. Let's do some Sopranos trivia as well. Uh, don't stop the questions, but if you have a Sopranos question, See if you can stump me. See if you can stump me. Um, we try to have some fun in here on the regular. Eric, I said hello to you. Um, Fintech says, no offense, Jeff. When I first watched you, I thought you were a dweeb. Okay. But after watching your show, I have lots of respect for you and enjoy your amazing shows. Thank you. Well, thank you, Fintech. Coming from you, calling me a dweeb. Interesting. Um, wow. Um, thank you. I don't know that I'm a dweeb. What is a dweeb, by the way? Is that like a nerd? I don't think I'm a nerd. I think I'm very up with it. Uh, thank you, Fintech. Hey, Brooklyn, one of the most beautiful girls on the planet. Thank you, Brooklyn. Brooklyn doesn't talk to me much anymore, but no harm, no foul. I still appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, all right. Uh, Don, I said hello to you already, Don. Uh, where did I get the bookshelf in my background? Uh, I it was a gift. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't buy it myself. I got it. Uh, I think I got it for my birthday. I think. I think my mom got me it. Um, I don't know. I don't know where she got it. I have no idea. The Donna social media makes me cringe. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. Uh, thank you, Joshua. Steven says you've talked me into subbing to disturb reality. Well, good. He's the best. Steven says, I love your content. You're a straight shooter. Much respect. Thank you so much, bro. That's really nice of you. I try. I try. Yeah, so do I. He's the best. Sammy has a lot of fanboys. Yeah, I wish. I always wish we could play the video because it's so funny. Like, hey, boss, I'm kicking up for the week. You know, so here's my here's my uh, here's my envelope. It's like. Enough, dude. It's like him wearing the shirt that says Sammy 19. 
It is so pathetic. He also, again, has the fucking menu from Sparks in his office. If that's not sociopathic, I don't know what is. Yeah, we're aware of zombies. Thank you. We know. Uh, toilet Inspector, $10 from New Zealand. Thank you, Toilet Inspector. Says, our nice summer in New Zealand is over. I hope you have a good summer where you are. Well, I, so there you go. It's about to be summer here. Summer's about over in New Zealand. Toilet Inspector must be a plumber. Get it? Thank you, Toilet Inspector. Sammy's getting Ralph Natale syndrome. He may be, actually. That's not a bad way to put it. I mean, he is almost 80. Yeah, but that's been a con that's been common knowledge for a while. Every everyone's seen that. We we all know that. Shout out to Baltimore in the building. David Smith says all wise guys are bad guys. I exactly. Francesco says there's also no evidence that John was going to betray Sammy. Sammy heard a wiretap of John complaining about him killing people, and Sammy got mad and used it as an excuse. Exactly. Also, let's ask ourselves a question, and this is a question I've always had on John Sr. When Sammy starts going off killing all these people, right, DB and, and all these people, why didn't Gotti kill Gravano? I mean, it's not like he really uh, – who did he have around him at that point? The Chico was gone. All his friends were gone because he killed them. Think of, I mean, it wouldn't have mattered really because John Gotti would have got you know arrested eventually anyway. But that's a really good point, Francesco. Like John Senior talked about everybody too. Like he called all sorts of people names. I've always talked about it. at one point he called Joe the Cat Lafort on wiretap a heartless motherfucker. He said that. Talk down to all sorts of people. Jackie knows, you know, all these different people. When John was talking bad about you, I feel like it's like, you know, when someone talks about you, you're like, oh, who the fuck cares? You know, Sammy hers one wiretap. Oh, John's betraying me. It's like, he's not betraying you, dude. He, if there's one person that wasn't going to betray anyone and just go to jail, it was John Gotti. Like, I think we all know that. Um, but yeah, it's 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 convenient for Sammy to say that now. Oh, John was going to betray me. Okay, again though, what about all the other people that you betrayed? Do you have anything to say about them? Uh, when am I going to do stuff in the Detroit Partnership? Ah, I don't know. I don't really. I'm not that familiar with Detroit. Really, Scott Bernstein does a lot with them. Uh, Henry Buis, what's up, Henry? Thank you for watching. Pancho Vila, two ten, San Antonio, Texas, in the house. One of the best. States or states, cities in America. I love San Antonio. I love San Antonio. By the way, guys, I want to let everybody know something. Uh, we have over 770 people in here. I want to tell you guys about something. In May, actually less than a month from now, I am going to travel across country from Pennsylvania to California and back. And guess what? On the way back, I will be meeting Lee Cole. Yes, I'm going to meet Lee Cole. I'm going right through Amarillo, and I will be damned. I will knock on his door if I have to. So, Lee, you better be ready for me. I'm going to go out to dinner with Lee Cole. And if I'm passing through your town, you better let me know. Let me give you my route. On the way out, I'm going to first stop in Pittsburgh, then South Bend, then Chicago then Omaha, Nebraska, then Denver, then Vegas, and then L.A. Going to hang in L.A. for a couple of days, and then we're going to go down through Arizona, New Mexico, the Panhandle of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, and back up through. I always wanted to do it, and I felt like May was a good time to do it. Melissa Doe says, grown men who put energy towards, take time out of their day to spend time thinking of grown men and their weak emotion, completely ignore people, hate it. Uh, I'm not sure where that's coming from, but yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Uh, it's nice to see you live. What do you think of Jeff Canarsi versus Merlino? I talked about that earlier. I talked about that earlier. Hey, Milt. Milt, listen. Um, 
No, listen, I uh, I feel like I've told you this a few times. I got you, man. I got you. I, I've heard, I've seen you post it. You sent me an email. I responded to it. Um, I, I don't know if you guys hear me when I say this, but yeah, I got you. you. You say that every time you come in here. Thank you for watching, though. Cleveland, Ohio. No, it's no offense to anyone gay, but I mean, I feel like it's already been kind of put out there. Jay Cosenza, what's up, Jay? Craig Tracy, $10 Canadian. Thank you, Craig Tracy. Always uh, always kicking up, as Sammy says. Thank you, Craig. Appreciate you. <laughs> Scott K says, I'm not a big fan of you personally, but I really do enjoy your show. So thanks. Okay. What's not to like about me, Scott K? I'm a hard worker. What could you not like about me? Come on, Scott. Tell me what you don't like about me. You know what? Let's do that. Everyone, if you don't like me, tell me why in the chat. I want to know. Why do you not like me, Scott K? I'd love to know. I don't have any issue with you. Thank you. I don't think he ever did. He told me he didn't want to talk about that when I interviewed him. Uh, JJG says, new to this channel. I'm catching up with all this. When was the peak of the South Philly scene? Is it still ongoing? Uh, not really anymore. I mean, the 80s and 90s for sure. Thank you for watching, JJG. Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, guys, bear with me one second. Um, I wanted to um I wanted to send this live to somebody. Bear with me a second. Um so yeah, I'm gonna be um I'm gonna be seeing Lee Cole. You guys believe that? How crazy is that gonna be? Um I'm gonna be seeing Lee. Shut up. That's gonna be wild, isn't it? I'm gonna take the guy for dinner. I'm gonna take him for dinner. Jesus fucking Christ, man. I don't know. Whatever. Corruption connection. What's going on, mom? Milt, thank you for the 20, man. Milt, are you... Do you can you hear correctly? I, maybe you can't hear correctly. I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. Uh, thank you, Milt. Appreciate it. Will do. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> uh, Alejandro Sanguino, greetings from Bolivia. Wow. How about that? Shout out to Bolivia. Beautiful country. La Paz is the capital of Bolivia. Very high elevation there. What's up, Bobby? What's up, Michael Blade? Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. Yes, they are. Absolutely. Deborah Day says, Sammy is sexy. Gag me. <laughs> Your cousin Vinny. What's up, cousin Vinny? Jamling Sherpa says, I was questioning Sammy's story about John Gotti selling him out. What is the truth? Uh, well, listen, no one sold them out. It's just not true. I, I, I don't, you know, he... He uses that as his reasoning now, but that's not the reason. Uh, Anthony Caserta. What's up, Anthony Caserta? Thank you for watching, bro. Um, what else do we have here? I'm curious about a New Jersey mobster called Fresalone. He recorded his induction. I hear know anything. Uh, yeah, George Fresalone. I'm going to do a show on him soon. Um, yeah, Fresalone for sure. Congrats on the three years. Thank you, Frem. Thank you so much. By the way, no, no, no surprise that guy never joined. Um, why, why don't they ever join? You ever wonder that? Why don't they ever join? Yeah, good luck with that. How do you get someone's paperwork? Uh, it's a secret. Nah, you, there's a website you can go to. <laughs> Hard timer says you're using Sammy's name. This is why Barstool got rid of you. Hard timer, 
let me explain something to you, dude. First of all, hard timer. Join the show. Here's the link. Talk that tough shit on here. Uh, second of all, it's I, I know a lot of you pinheads want to use that as a way to, you know, talk down on me, even though you've never worked at Barstone. I worked on it once, but twice. I actually left. It's, it's common knowledge. Okay. They offered me 10,000 more than I was making. I declined and I left. It's real simple to understand. But this is what you guys do, hard timer. You make things up because you have nothing else on me. There's nothing else you can say. So you take something that you couldn't do and you belittle me about something that's not even true. By the way, unless you've worked at Barstool, shut the fuck up. Okay. Hard timer, you're a fucking nobody. You're behind me on a fake name and fucking no photo. Join the show or fuck off, will you? Your cousin Vinny says, so glad to catch you again live. I work 14 hours Sunday and listen to you all day. I love your show. So informative. Keep it up. Um, thank you so much. Uh, that's super nice of you. Um, I appreciate uh, the kind words. Um, I'm always happy when uh, not only I can, uh, you know, get people's get people through their day, but, uh, you know, you're entertained. Uh, thank you for the $10, your cousin Vinny. 712 people in here. Shout out to all of you. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop them in the chat. If you feel like trying to stump me with some Sopranos trivia, feel free to drop that as well. Um, uh, it's Reddit and I've said, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, of course. That is a good possibility because on federal prison, that's one of the jobs. Uh, Tony Buick, show your face. You want to come on the show, show your face. If you don't, you're going to be released. There's a guy in the trying to come on the show, Tony Buick. Show your face, Buick. You got five seconds. Five, four, three. I'm not bringing you on, Tony Buick. I'm not going to have you come on here and show me something I don't want to see. There might be other YouTubers that want to see that, but not me. Whitewater says Anthony Santa was doing that type of work in prison as a maintenance guy. I didn't say it. You did. How did he get his HVAC license already? Uh, well, he's Anthony Center. He is a, you know, they're trying to get him a job. He, you know, I don't think it's that hard to get it. Maybe he took the required courses. Uh, by the way, if you're going to join or try to join the show, please share your face. I'm not going to bring you on otherwise. Uh, stop it, Ty. Ty Zaku, I'm pretty sure you're Xavier James. I've seen you before in other chats. Uh, Xavier, come in here with your real name. Stop with the fake names. I've already done a show on Tony Spilatro. Uh Probably not. I have a TikTok about him, though. What's up, Mob True Crime? I've already discussed it, Midwest. I talked about it at the beginning of the show. I don't want to go into it again, though. Wait, Sammy tells his fans to kick up? Uh, yes. Yes, he does. My favorite is Ron Previty at the moment. What do you mean your favorite is Ron? What does that mean? Did I know Jimmy? Jimmy who? Calandra? Yes, we know Jimmy Calandra. At Tony Buick, why are you trying to join the show? I told you, show your face or go away. Who is Tony Buick and why does he want to come on here? I, I really don't want to bring you on, Tony, if you can understand that. I don't want you to show me something you're not allowed to show me. There's this guy called Tony Buick down in the left. Michael Philippe, $4.99. Whatever happened to Frankie Notch, Ian Nietzsche? Uh, he did prison time. I don't know where he's been since, though. Uh, Josh Zielinski, 10 bucks. Thank you, Josh. What's going on? Jersey Mike's is great. Yeah, it is. It's very good. $20 from Jason Diamond. Thank you, Jason Diamond. $20. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for the donations tonight. Really appreciate it. 
Jersey Mike's is bomb. Yeah, I was so surprised at how good it was. Honestly, I, I couldn't believe it. I thought it was like, you know, like Subway trash, but it was great. Quiznos? I don't think that's around anymore. I've heard of it. I never went to it, though. I haven't had that yet, but I'm sure it's good. Yeah, agreed. I, it's not. It's good, man. Now you have to go get a steak and cheese from Jersey Mike's. Well, there you go. I'm helping them get some business. There you go. Not that they need me. There you go. There you go, TW. Uh, yeah, I already talked about it, Midwest. Like I said. Oh, did he? I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, do you think about moving your podcast on Anchor? No. I'm on Spotify. Google Pods, all that stuff. Hello? Uh, do you think about moving your podcast on Anchor? No. I'm on Spotify. Who are you? Hello, Jeff. Who are you? Hello? Yeah, I'm uh, well, I'm Australian. Uh, I, I like your show. You came up on, uh, I've been watching that Joey Molino show. I, I love it. And uh, somehow you've come up uh, on my, on the side on my iPad. Uh -huh. um, yeah, and that's how I've seen yours and a few of those um, other channels. Uh, it's pretty interesting because I, I like, well, I have to catch up with your show because Joey's in Australia. Uh, I, I've been to Greece as well. Anyway, I'm a Greek Australian, but anyway, uh, he's you can't get him on YouTube to get the full shows. So what I so I get withdrawal systems because I'm probably in that phase where I like to watch what he's got. They're funny, and uh, that's why I when I open the my iPad, I can see your shows. I thought oh, you've got your blue buttons come on, which means you've got the latest episode. And I saw your live stream. That's why I've come on, but I. Uh, no, well, uh, I'm not hey, trying Tony. to uh, be funny. Yeah, thank, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Uh, the reason I didn't, the, yeah. reason I, the reason I didn't bring you on right away is I didn't want you to like come on and show me your balls or something. You know? No, I've heard of those things. No, on my phone, my son set it up so I can only talk audio. I talk other uh, live streams here in Australia with my, you know, like uh, to do with Thailand and all those type of shows. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm genuine. I'm not trying to uh, be uh, stupid or nothing. Yeah. What time is it there? Uh, it's eleven thirty a.m. Uh, in the South Australia Adelaide time. In Sydney it would be twelve because they're half an hour in front of us. But it's eleven thirty a.m. What time have you got there? Uh, it's nine fifty-eight at night. Yeah, I know. I know you're way behind us. Uh, we're eleven thirty on a Thursday morning here. Yeah, it's Wednesday night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're Australia, we're, we're used to it. We we know we're ahead. Uh, only New Zealand's are before us. Uh, that's why when New Year's Eve parties are on, we're usually the first. We've yes, already got the bed when the when the rest of the world is just uh, counting down the midnight clock. Exactly. We've already got. <laughs> We've already gone to bed by that time. We've already had it. Well, Tony, yeah. I, I appreciate you being a supporter of the show, man. I'm glad you found it. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, I'll subscribe. Just one one quick thing before yeah. you let me go. Yeah. Uh, I love this Joey Molina. I don't know how long I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay, um, um, what's it called, interested in it, but I've been for the last, say, one month. since I just It popped up on, uh, over here when I saw him do the interview on that DJ Vlad, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and after that I said, oh, I've, I've, I've seen documentaries over the last 20 years. You know, I thought I've never have seen him live, this fella. I only saw, like, uh, a document when he was, like, a young kid and I've heard of all these, how people – um uh of his own uh, you know like uh what was that big fella uh what they call it rats we use our we call it different oh, it's more like uh, yeah informers or whatever but over there he's got a thing where you call everyone uh they call them rats 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 over here we just call them informers or or mm -hmm. grass they call yep. it or 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 the 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 other name is dogs they call them dogs here but anyway um 
he's so funny if you see his, his new show i hope it goes gets very strong because he's he's i saw his live stream last week he's so funny i mean naturally funny without even trying to be i think he's very talkative um i like him i, I like his show i hope you know you don't have to uh, you know obviously not everyone has to like but he's very funny he's very smart he looks like and i think um yeah what do you think what's your uh, and you can let me go oh, after that i mean i think he's definitely taken the genre by storm he's very funny he's very interesting yeah i think you kind of had said it all really i mean i think we all think he's funny. yeah and he's uh yeah he's new, obviously, i just and wish he could uh let go a bit of everyone's uh a, a rat a rat a rat because he's the exception to the rule i mean he's like the one percent of the 99 percent by nature if let's say me or you we get caught in there uh, and, and and the coppers say oh there's 20 years for you if you don't man by nature human nature of course you're gonna uh, cooperate to save you you know that's nature you know you don't have to we can all be brave and say before fair enough i can i i give him honors for how he can hold on to that but that's right. the exception to the rule that's like 10 percent of people can do that go and do your time and you know your push-ups or read a book in and and do your 15 years just so you can uh say i didn't rat on anyone that's rare but you know he i think he he'd get more fans if he just cuts out calling everyone around town a rat <laughs> I mean, but he's brave i gotta right. you gotta hand it to him he's brave he uh that's his that's his thing man that's what he does you know that's uh he he's very standoffish he likes his morals and his ethics and he doesn't like people that do that tony listen i'm having a little trouble hearing you i'm yeah. gonna let you know, but thank you for watching man appreciate it thank you very much bye bye yeah good seeing you take it easy um yeah we know joey that's his thing that's his thing um i'm getting a lot of sonata or uh sopranos questions let me go back and do a few of these here hang on um why was nancy by frank sinatra paulie's song um, he never said why it was his song. Even Bobby said, why is that his song? Um, John Bruno says, why are you so interested in a genre you speak about with disdain? Um, I don't speak about it with disdain. They're bad people. What? So let me ask you, John, if I talked about terrorism, would I have to be like interested in being like that? Like, what are you, what are you talking about? It's so odd. Um, yeah, exactly. It's very weird. Very weird. Yeah, Nick, because I'm a creator, you fucking idiot. Nick, fuck off, all right? Nobody cares what you have to think. Talk about who you want. I'm just, there are certain people that I'm not going to talk negatively about. How did Bacala's wife die? A car accident. Uh, Mob Talk True Crime, I'm not going to put that comment on the screen just for certain reasons, but thank you for the five dollars, bro. Really appreciate it. What was the name of Adriana's dog? A uh, Cosette. Yes, that was the first show we ever did. Yes, I have all sorts of other things. Sure. I, by TikTok, I do a lot of I do a lot of different content. What college did Matthew Bevilacqua attend? Uh, Pace College. Omar Delgado, five dollars. Thank you, Omar Delgado. Says, who is the official boss of the Jersey Crew from Sopranos? Hint: It was not Tony Junior or Jackie. Tony Junior or Jackie? Uh, who is the official boss of the Jersey Crew? Um, I don't even know. I have no idea. To Omar Delgado. You know, Rocco DeMeo. I don't know. I have no idea. Ray D, $4.99. How do you feel about Skinny's podcast with Pete Rose? Uh, I didn't see it. I didn't know if it was out. What are my thoughts on Trend de Agua? Uh, or Agua. Uh, they're huge. I think they're one of the worst gangs in 
the Western Hemisphere, quite honestly. I guess they'd be in the Southern Hemisphere. But, yeah, they're, they're starting to pop up here, too. Uh, hey, Special K, how are you? Nice to see you. Scott D, what's going on? What's going on? Jason Diamond, what up? There's our guy Buick. Shout out to Tony Buick from Adelaide in Australia. Yeah, I'm not going to get up that high, but maybe someday. What's up, Hayek? Sounds good, Isaac FDZ. I'll let you know. Sounds good, Special K. Thank you, Craig Tracy. How can anybody not like me? NMK, why don't you just buy some NMK? There's a good idea. Shout out to Federal Hill in Providence, Rhode Island. Buster Detroit says, didn't Stacks go camping with Gunnar Lindblom? Do you think they were talking turns, pitching, and catching? Come on, man. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. He should be. He should be. Damn Funk says, I don't like you. I fucking love you. Well, thank you, bro. How's it going, Jeff? What up, Melancholy? This guy looks like Bobby from King of the Hill. Yeah, I've heard that. Bobby from King of the Hill, Al Capone, Babe Ruth. 1090 Jake, heard it all, heard it all. Do I live by RJ? Yeah, RJ lives about five minutes from me. He lives about five minutes from me. Uh, Dayla Brooks says, who is the best tomato pie in South Philly? Um, Santucci's. We ever do a show with Frank DiMatteo? Uh no, I don't. I mean, I haven't planned on it. No. I'll have to look into him. Of course. Of course I was. Hard timer won't join the show. No, he hasn't either. Tina G, first time here. What up, Tina G? Shout out to you. No problem. No problem. No, I've never been there. I've never been there. Chris Sokola says, guy's a straight jerk-off. Uh, who, who's a straight jerk-off? Thank you, Milt. Thank you so much, man. Did Fat Tony Rubito pass away? Um, Not sure. Not sure. I think he has. I could be wrong, though. I mean, he was pretty old. No, he's still alive. He's 90 years old. Wow. As far as we know, he's still alive. I actually didn't know that. Uh, you've missed a lot. We've been here for a while. I like I said, I haven't seen it. What was the name of the police officer Tony told Christopher killed his father? Uh, yeah, he was at a party. Um, the hell was his name? Should I forget now? Barry Hayduke. There you go. Barry Hey Duke. I pulled that one out of nowhere. Yeah, they're always around here, Special K. Don't pay him any attention. Damien says you should run for president. Maybe I will someday. Your live audience is growing. Well, we had a lot of people in here, but now we're down to about 600. Thank you, Stang. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Jeff is spot on, mate. That's exactly why they do it. Patrick Ortega says, crikey. You got to love YouTube. Even this guy claims the guy's fake accent. Shut up, Sony.
No, they're way further. He's in the next day already. Cheerio is England, bro. Australian is by far the funniest accent in the world. Yeah, I actually agree. I, I think it is quite funny, too. Ah, Tony's a good man. Shout out to Tony. It's the next day already, bro. Nah, he wasn't drunk. He's got good energy. Shout out to Tony. Tony Buick. It will do. All right, guys, I'm going to look to start wrapping it up here. We're getting to the bottom. What was Meadows' first boyfriend's name? Um, it was that Spanish guy. I don't think he ever gave his name. They were, like, making out on the couch. What was the name of Tony's racehorse? Uh, Pie of mine. Eckley DeMeo is not the boss. He was uh, their like he was their brother who was like slow. <laughs> Betty Fazio, criminal mastermind. Do I think Mikey Scars would make a good father? He is a father. He's got multiple kids. Thank you for watching, Paul Raglan. Appreciate it. Ten bucks. Thank you so much, man. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. NYC House Radio. Thank you, House Radio. Who was the name of the guy Carmelo cheated with? Vic Musto. <laughs> Thank you, Tugboat. Alejandro, thank you so much. Who is 1090 Jake? Uh, he's a uh, content creator. This is like prison guy. Vic Musto is a prison or is the uh, interior decorator. Oh, you mean oh the Russian? Uh, Valerie was his name. Thank you, David. What's up, aftermath? How you doing? Thank you, mate. Thank you so much, mate. I really appreciate it. Gazlika, what's up? A lot of good people in here tonight. A lot of good people. I will, Scott. Thank you. I don't think I've ever watched him, to be honest. I don't know if I could stump you, but I'll try. When Christopher was complaining to Tony about paying for meals, what two wise guys did Tony tell Christopher killed him at Benny Hanna and Peter Luger's? Uh wow. Um fat Jerry Anastasia and someone else. I I know the one guy was fucking fat Jerry Anastasia. That's the one pool I have. I don't I, I don't know the other one. But ducks, fat Jerry Anastasia is one of them for sure. By the way, if anybody would like to do a last-minute donation, you want to support our show further, uh, if anyone has any other last-minute Sopranos questions, feel free to send them in. Uh, we appreciate all of you tonight. Still a good amount of people here, over 500 people. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, Anthony Golovich says, just got on here. Going to have to watch in the beginning. You've been dropping some gems as usual. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, Fat Jerry Anastasia was one of them. What's up, Dirty? Shark sees his 1090 Jake is a hypocrite. Why is he a hypocrite? By the way, for anyone that wants to know who 1090 Jake is, let me uh, show you as a picture. They, they, everyone says I look like this guy. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I don't know.
What's up, Junior? Junior from Kansas City. What's up, Junior? What was Mikey Palmese's wife's name? Uh, Jojo Palmese. She had a great ass, by the way. What's up, Keep It Frosty? Shout out to you. I appreciate that, RJ62. I try. I try. XYLY. 10 bucks. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you, my man. Thank you for sending in a, a contribution. Jake, $2. Thank you, Jake. Maybe that's 1090, Jake. Melissa Doe says, I may be late to the Soprano question game, but what vehicle was burned to the ground when Tony's son and girl were about to knock the boots? Uh, a yellow Nissan Xterra. And AJ parked on leaves. I try to donate, but keep getting error messages. Well, that's not good. Hate to see it. Thank you, Alex Ruiz. Damien DeTore. Thank you, Damien. By the way, let's uh, see what's going on on YouTube. Let's see what's going on. Oh, did anyone see this guy? Just to try this. Oh. Did you guys see this guy? This guy claims he's a mobster or his father was a mobster. Did you guys see this guy? I, I didn't find anything to, you know, back that story up, but I'm not going to share it any further because I don't want to get in trouble. But did Vito finish polishing off the fella in the parking lot or did Vin Finn cock? That I don't know. That I don't know. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. JoJo did have a nice set of cheeks. Yeah, she did. She did. I like redheads. Yes, it was. What was the name of the French guy that beat up Artie and ripped his earring out? Uh, Jean-Philippe. Jean-Philippe. Um, Finn definitely cockblock. Yeah. We don't really know. I don't mind it. I like British accents. What was Vito's character's name in the bakery scene before he was Vito? Uh, Gino. Gino. He was much fatter. What do I think happened to the Russian in the woods? Uh, I think he... I think he died, probably. We still have almost 500 people in here. By the way, today, there was another very sad shooting in the city of Philadelphia. You, you won't believe this. Uh, so the end of Ramadan is today. Ramadan is the sacred month in the Islamic calendar. Um, and at the end of Ramadan, they have something called Eid al-Fatir. And Eid al-Fatir, they have, it's usually like a long day of celebrations. Uh, and there was a shooting at one today. And one of the biggest masjids which is essentially mosques in philadelphia yes a shooting at a ramadan celebration sick sick people uh but hey you know two guys see each other that don't like each other and they start shooting each other now uh little children get hit and nobody cares really shameful fintech ten dollar super sticker thank you fintech appreciate you bro thank you for the support man RJ, $5. Thank you, RJ. Appreciate you. Thank you, everybody. You guys are super cool tonight. Appreciate it. What was Tony eating when he told Jackie Jr. that Richie was a rat? What was Tony eating when he told Jackie Jr. Richie wasn't a rat. He did tell that, him that. Richie wasn't a rat, so I don't know. Who was Tony's lawyer? Uh, Neil Mink. I want to shout out our super chat friends tonight. Leo, Lawrence, Leo again, Matthew Wolf, the toilet inspector, Craig Tracy, Milt Pappas, your cousin Vinny, Michael Philippe, Josh, Jason, Mob True Crime, Omar, Ray D, Paul Raglan, Craig again, XYL, Jake, Fintech, RJ. Thanks all of you for your support tonight. Uh, if you all uh, are here, please hit that like button. Um, I scrolled by that video about gays and the mob. I didn't watch. Thought it was a spoof. No, it's actually a real guy. He's like a real like wardrobe guy in Hollywood. And he was talking about how his father was 
a mobster from Harlem, and then they moved to Queens. But I looked the guy up, and him and his father have the same name, and I didn't find anything mm-hmm. about them. Uh, by the way, let me see my baseball bets doing tonight. Um, I bet on the uh, Boston Red Sox, who naturally blow it. No surprise there. They blow it in the seventh inning. Yikes. Brutal. Brutal. At one point, the Red Sox were up 5 nothing and lost. What a joke. What a sick fucking joke. This is why I don't bet that fucking shit baseball. Up 5 nothing and lose. Sick. Really, really fucking sick. I hate baseball. I fucking hate it. That's why I don't bet it. It's so brutal. So brutal. All right. Uh, Ericly, Ericly. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. I saw, I uh, see you guys uh, soon. I got a new video coming out on Saturday, so make sure you check that out. Uh, no live tomorrow. I'm not going to be around, but I appreciate y'all, all of you coming in here tonight. I'll see you all again soon. Thanks. Later.